Finally, we have C, classification according to the size of burn. In case of a burn injury, the total body surface area, abbreviated as TBSA, involved is usually worked out by Wallace's rule of nines. A recent calculation used to calculate the total body surface area of the body that is burned in adults. Why do we need to know it? Number one, it helps us determine if the patient is a candidate of admission into a burn unit, depending on the percentage. Number two, if the patient is at risk for hypovolemic shock within the first 24 hours of her experiencing severe burns. We are going to divide the areas into head and neck, upper extremities, trunk, perineum and lower extremities. Let's look at the rule. Head and neck is 9% with the anterior being 4.5% and posterior being 4.5% which all sum to 9%. Upper limb is 9% which 4.5 at the front, 4.5 at the back. You have two upper extremities that gives you a sum of 18%. The trunk, the anterior aspect is given 18% and uh, the posterior aspect is given 18%. So uh, if you put these together, they sum to 36%. The perineum is given 1%. The lower extremities now, uh, the anterior part of the leg is given 9% and posterior is given 9%. So one leg is equivalent to 18%. So you have two legs. If you multiply by two, you get 36%. If you add all these percentages together, you should get 100%. Use the following table to determine the treatment depending on the percentage that you get. So we have uh, minor burns, moderate, severe burns, body surface area in young or old. Less than 10%, we consider this as uh, minor burns. Moderate burns are 10 to uh, 15%. Severe burns are greater than 15%. Body surface area in adults, that's uh, less than 15%, uh, percent. we consider this as minor burns, and uh, moderate burns are from 15% to 25%, uh, and greater than 25%, we consider this as severe burns. Third degree burns, less than 1%, that's a minor burn, and uh, moderate is uh, 2 to 5%, and greater than 5%, we consider this as uh, severe burns. So what are the treatments? In minor burns, we treat them outpatient and uh, moderate inpatient and uh, severe burns they are treated in the uh, burn unit or ICU. Another way in case of small burns that you can use to measure the percentage of burns that's uh, small burns or patches of burns is carry paper and it should be a clean piece of paper the size of the patient's whole hand that's the digits and the palm which represent 1% of total body surface area and match this to the area that is burnt. This method is also called the rule of palm. Another accurate way is to draw the burn on the London Browder chart, which maps out the percentage of total body surface area of sections of our anatomy. London Browder chart recognizes that not only is an infant different from an adult, but also as they grow, the percentage of their body parts or body proportions change. Children tend to have a larger body surface area compared to adults, so total body surface area of various anatomical parts, especially the head and the legs, change with growth. Like the Wallace rule of nines, the London Browder chart takes into consideration of age of the person with decreasing percentage BSA of the head and increasing percentage BSA of the legs as the child ages, making it more useful in pediatric bands. Because uh, the percentage changes with age, it will be tricky for us to do some calculations here. But uh, always consider this table that I'm about to share with you shortly for the head, which is represented by A, the thigh represented by B and our legs represented by C. So let's look at the chart. We have our age in years, that's our age are 0, 1, 5, 10, 15, then adults. So for head, which is represented by A, at age 0, we score 9%. At uh, age 1, we score 8%. And uh, at age 5, it's uh, 6%. And uh, age 10, 5%. Age 15, 4%. And adult, 3%. Let's look at B, which is the thigh. At age 0, 2%. At age 1, 3%. And at age 5, 4%. And at age 10, 4%. 15, 4%. Adult, 4%. C, which is the leg. 2% for age 0. Age 1, 2%. Age 5, 3%. Age 10, 3%. Age 15, 3%. And adult, 3%. Let's finally look at uh, Jackson's thermal wound theory. So according to Jackson's thermal wound theory, 
there are three zones of major burn injury. Zone of coagulation is the area that sustained maximum damage from the heat source. Proteins become denatured and cell death is uh, imminent due to destruction of uh, blood vessels, resulting in ischemia to the area. Injury in this area is uh, irreversible, can lead to coagulative necrosis and gangrene. Then we have a zone of stasis surrounds the coagulation area where tissue is uh, potentially salvageable. This is the main area of focus when treating burn injuries. Then lastly, we have a zone of uh, hyperemia. It's the area surrounding the zone of stasis perfusion is uh, adequate due to patent blood vessel. And erythemia occurs due to increased vascular permeability.